So as a man who's over 50, I've seen a lot of beautiful women in my lifetime, but that doesn't mean a beautiful woman has the mind of the Lord in hand. It also doesn't mean that that woman has an intelligence that's appealing to a man. You see, a man of my station, generation, and of upbringing, who had turn-of-the-century parents, is a little bit old-fashioned. I realize that people produce an instant attraction and sometimes go immediately to bed together, but a man who's been sexually assaulted, perversely, physically deformed, and had a problem is not going to jump in bed with someone he just meets. He's going to take a little time to get to know the individual. He's going to take a little time to care about the individual. And in my case, two of the three women that I'm interested in, as men go out and go dating and do things again, and make choices in life to invite people into their life again, I've known for probably about approximately 10 years. They are the key women in my book that I wrote, and therefore there is no one else that can be that note in my life. The third individual is an author and a Secret Service agent, and I am quite enamored with what I see, hear, and think about that individual's heart, soul, and mind. And it took critical view of some interviews to make me intrigued enough to reach out to probably a perfect stranger like that.